Animation in three, two, one. Wind uh, two point nine. That's it. Just hold that. That's perfect. That's perfect. Landing in forty five seconds. The major challenge of this particular animation is the height at which we have to fly and getting the resolution that we want in the time logo. This animation is 100 meters tall. Our ceiling is 400 feet, so we have to stay within that space. So normally we like to keep the drones about three meters apart from one another. This one, we're a little bit limited on space, so we're having to confine that down to 1.5 meters. The risks are that they can, you know, collide with one another while in the air if, there's, if it's really gusty. Okay. Big drones going up! Not only did we want the border and logo made out of thousands of drones, but we also wanted to shoot that cover photo with a drone. You know, in the history of time, in 95 years, we've never had a cover image that was shot by a drone camera. Man is good. Everything looks great, guys. This is our first time shooting a magazine cover. We've got a tight timeline. They're going up, getting a lot of drones up in the air, and we've got to be in the perfect, precise position to get that shot. We're going to be flying a distance away with our big heavy lift drone, filming it with a cinema camera, and we're going to be pulling a vertical still photograph from that of the thousand drones making this, this cover in the sky. We want a VO in this position right here. Ideally, the one that's closest to the drone should have one of our production radius. One of the challenges, I would say, is it's coordinating where we're flying so that there's no collisions between the aircraft. Um, and then also, we're just, we're sort of pushing the boundaries of shooting this, this low light scene with the camera, shooting LEDs and, and that sort of thing. So it, it is challenging just coordinating something that's so massive. You, you press go, they take off, they go, make the square. Um, and then when they come back, they come straight back to that spot right above where they took off and then land straight down. Okay. My responsibility is to monitor the health of the fleet of the drones, both while they're on the ground and then also while they're in the air. And when we're actually doing flight, I work with Clay, who's our pilot in command for this show, in order to coordinate the commands that we send to the drones and make sure we're safe to fly from an aviation perspective. Okay, you are clear to run time code? Yep, we are at 1 minute 40 seconds. This show's been a bit challenging in that we're flying close to 1,000 drones and uh, we've had some challenges with the wind, so we're hoping that the uh, wind cooperates with us tonight before we fly. We've gone you know, over 1,200 drones before for the Olympics, so we know that technically this is definitely doable, but when we fly right at sunset or right at sunrise, that's exactly when the winds are picking up and slowing down, and we're flying up to 400 feet. So there's definitely a lot of turbulence up there that the drones are dealing with. We are ready for an 8.36 animation start. Okay. Big drones going up! 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, launching. Animation in 3, 2, 1, trigger. Oh man, check it out. I've always been amazed at how different an image looks when you put it inside the red border of time. And what's interesting about this is that the image is actually the border of time. I've looked at that border and logo every single day on a flat screen monitor, and to see it up in the sky at 400 feet in the air, it just is, it's, it was very moving for me. Just to see it flying above you uh, was really special. Drones are returning home. Big drones coming home.